Dia Williams with uh, Keller Williams in uh, Seattle, Washington area. And I have had an overwhelming response to my um, online Google Drive 411. Um, granted, I may have kind of crammed it down the throats of my own team. So imagine my delight and shock when um, people outside of my team were excited about it. So I thought I'd do a quick little KW Connect video. The original video I did um, for a bunch of my friends was about 15 minutes long, and we're gonna make this one really quick. And if you like it, then I'd love to do a continuation of it, which is really turning how I turn this into my calendar. And I really think that that's the, the, the missing link, or maybe not the missing link, but I think the true importance of the 411 is, is, is taking it and translating it to your actions. And so I started um, color coding my calendar to match my 411 and it's been a game changer. So anyway, um, here is my 411. It's a very simple document. It's on Google Drive. Feel free, I'm happy to, I have one, a template all made up and I'm happy to um, share it with you. So reach out to me and I'll send it over to you. As you can see below here, you can see all these tabs down here. Now, you know, I'm doing March. I'm starting with March a little randomly. Obviously, at the beginning of the year, January and February, January's first. And what I like to do is slide the current month. Let me just show you an example. When I'm done with March, I'll slide March back. Whoops. And then, you know, the current month would be April. And I'd be over there. So we'll, we're going to do the training based on March, but that's kind of how I do it. So the current month is always the far left tab. And also, as you can see, um, we I, I, I'm a very visual person, and, and I find a, a lot of the population as you might be. And so it really helps me to break it down visually with different colors. And to the point where my annual goals, I can't explain it, but they almost look red in my mind. And my monthly goals almost look green in my mind. Isn't that funny how that happens? So what you'll see here is I know the typical 411 is three categories. And typically it's going to kind of be your job, your financial, and your personal health. For me, um, as, a, as a mega agent and a, and a team leader, I really feel like I need to have four. I, I have my CEO hat and my role running the VIA group, right? But then I have my job. I have an actual job on the team, and, and my job is as the listing specialist, and they're quite separate. You know, whereas the team needs to do 15 units a month, me as listing specialist, you know, I need to do, you know, anywhere from four to seven a month, depending on, on the month. And, and it's just a different set of, of goals. For instance, I have recruiting goals. You can see over here, I have a very aggressive recruiting goals, goals by the end of the year. And by the way, we are tracking uh, really well for that. Um, and that's different from my job as listing specialist, which over here, is basically how, how many listings can I take, you know, and how much GCI can I bring in. You can also see here that my goal is to replace myself in my role by 6.30. And um, I'm proud to announce that that is uh, happening as we speak, which is great. So I'm, uh, I'm overachieving that goal. I would argue it's because it's been in front of me on my 411 though all year. So, so I have two. I have business column and a job uh, position in the team column. And then of course I have financial and I have personal health. I don't think we need to spend a ton of time on annual goals. I think that that's, that's fairly self-explanatory. Other than I want to say this, and if there's, if there's one thing you hear, it's this. Be specific. As Diana Kokoska always says, the brain likes specifics, and the 411 is no exception. I can't stress enough that, that look how specific this is. Exercise routine, how many days a week? Four days a week. I literally get into what kind of a routine it is. I mean, I say recruit and retain a sales force of 24 great agents. I, you know, I, I mean, this is really, really specific. It's 12 agents netting $100,000 each in their first rolling 12 months. It's not just, oh, all my agents doing really well. You know, MAPS coaching goals, all three of my clients achieve their goals for 2016. So I'm just really specific. And I think if it's the one thing that, you know, I could stress is that the brain does like that. You can see I have very specific numbers here and on my weight and on my business reserves. And um, those are broken down and, and just super specific. And you really do start internalizing them when they're that specific. Um, my COO, Caitlin, actually, um, on this particular line, she has recruit a sales force of 18. 
and um, so help her. I, I would. I, I, she's been a transformed woman this year since she's put that on her 411, and that's on here. And she's going to exceed that goal. So the more specific it can be, the better. And then, of course, we get to monthly goals. Again, I don't know that we need to go into you know much time on this other than um, very, very specific. And then, you know, lastly, you know, the the weekly goals. Just kind of a few things I want to talk about is um, I really like being cumulative when at all possible. So if you see on this column, I for whatever reason I did a better job on this column, but um, my goal in March for listings taken was six. And so instead of saying, okay, you know, take 1.5 this week and then take 1.5 this week and take 1.5 this week, what I like to do is is again be cumulative and go, okay, you know, I need to have taken six by the end of the month. Um, so going back, I mean, so I don't think you need much help. That that part's easy. You know, the 411 is basically annual goals, monthly goals, and then the weekly goals. What I really want to spend just, you know, a minute longer talking about is that the annual goals right here, these are non-negotiable. These do not change. We do not change our annual goals. I recommend a lot of care and consideration into, into you know, putting those down on paper. And yet what I want to share with you, and I think the magic of the 411 is our monthly and our weekly, our tactics as to how we hit our goals should change and does change frequently. So where you're going to see yourself doing a lot of changing and movement is on your monthly and especially, hopefully, on your weekly. And I just want to stress that importance that, that while your annual go goals remain very fixed and um, hopefully somewhat rigid, how you get there should be very fluid. For instance, let's talk about weight. Um, I, um, I have had to redo this more times than I can tell you. I've lost 62 pounds uh, so far. And I have another um, 12 to go, and 13 to go. Excuse me. And and as a result of that, um, I I preset um, my goals. So what I do on my 411, by the way, is on the last Sunday of the previous month, or sometimes the first Sunday of the current month. Um, I always do it on a Sunday, and I have a special spot in my house for whatever reason I do it on. I spend a good hour or two uh, doing my month, doing the the, the upcoming month. And I actually pre-fill in as much as I can on the uh, weeks as well. And then on a weekly basis, I would do what I call recalibrate. So let's talk about weight. So um, my original goal was I wanted to be at 135 by um, June 2nd, and I'm not hitting that. So I've kind of had to go back. Now, does this change? Oh, well, I blacked it out. This actually, it's, I'll just tell you my weight. This says 135. But um, you know, this has been recalibrated many times, my monthly and my weekly goals. Uh, I will get there. That's not negotiable. But what is sort of changeable is how I do it and how long it takes. So um, as an example, you know, this one might have been, you know, way 144 by that way in as an example. And this one might have been Way you know 142 by this way in. Well, let's say I missed it and I weighed 146 at this way in. So often you'll see me come back from my weigh-in and I, I go to, I have a coach for that. And so I'll go to my weigh-in and I'll, I'll just have to recalibrate it and change it. And, and it's a pain to do it. And the fact that it's a pain to do it is almost part of the process and the journey. If it was easy, I, I don't know how good that would be. It's almost good that it's, it's somewhat of a um, time suck to sit here and have to do it all. So I really like having these target goals like that. And then um, it, when I do a follow-up video, what I can show you is how I translate that not only onto my calendar, but onto alerts on my phone <laughs> that remind me what my goal weight is throughout the week so that I'm constantly being reminded of that number, you know, throughout the week. And, and it's really been one of the ways I've been able to get to um, my huge weight loss over the last eight months. So I hope this helps. Um, the great thing about it being on Google Drive is that it, it can be a shared live document. So my two coaches have access to this document. And, um, you know, I go up here and I, I share it with them. The, in this, this case, this is just a sharing training one. But in my real one, it's shared with them. All of my MAPS clients, they also have their 411s on a Google Drive and, you know, it's shared with me and every single member of my team does. What that just means is, is that at any time I can log on, it's a live document and I can, I can get caught up on their 411 in real time. No one has to email anything to each other 
or print anything out. You know, it's just a great way for, for to collaborate um, with either agents on your team or agents. If you're watching this, you know, and you want your team leader to hold you accountable, then you can, you know, share this with them as well. Okay, I hope this helped. Thank you.